still on the reading storybook adventure, Wangare the storyteller takes us through the sly fox and the little red hen. Our book today is The Sly Fox and the Little Red Hen. Can you say the little red hen very fast three times? Little red hen, little oh, you can say it better than I can. So I will try and read very slowly so that I can read it correctly. All right, let's get reading. The Sly Fox and the Little Red Hen. A little red hen lived in a tree house. Near the tree house, there was a hill. On the hill, there was a little hut. The sly fox lived in it. The sly fox wanted to eat the red hen. One day, he hid behind the tree house. Soon, the red hen came in with the sticks. She locked the door. The sly fox quickly tried to catch her. The red hen flew onto the cupboard. She said, you will never catch me here. The sly fox began to run in a circle, round and round and round and round and round and round. The red hen saw this and she felt dizzy. So the red hen fell off the cupboard. The sly fox quickly put her in his bag. On the way home, the sly fox lay down to rest and he soon <coughs> fell asleep. The red hen cut a hole in the bag and came out. The red hen filled the bag with stones. She tied up the bag and ran back home. When the sly fox got home, he boiled some water and then he turned over the bag on it. And what do you think came out? Was there a red hen? Of course not. Splash, splash, splash. Stones fell into the boiling water. The sly fox got burnt and he ran away crying in pain. And he never came back to bother the little red hen. Mm, what a clever little red hen. <laughs> well, let's try again to say little red hen as fast as we can. All right? Are you ready? Little red hen, little red hen, little red hen, little red hen. I'm sure it's much easier right now. Well, that's the end of our story today. And remember, you can go to the textbook center and get this and so many other books. Bye.